inspired by it. And I thought I'd set up a small group um, when we're outside of London and what we have spoken about was sort of how we can support you. Obviously, I understand that you need constituents in the London to vote, but I was wondering if there's anything that we can do to help support from outside of London. Yeah, absolutely. If you can come down to the stall afterwards, sure. we'll have more of that because there are tons of things that you can do for us. Yes, we can do that in the situation. Yes, hi. I know you said obviously it's, um, <coughs> anything that is uh, set for the better in terms of animal welfare and farming practices is obviously a good thing, although we're not to see it at all. Most um, things would agree that something something's better than nothing. Although it's quite a grand idea, is the end goal IP, which I suppose out kind of all farming and have everyone kind of farm based on it, or is that really unattainable? It is. Well, the end goal of our party is abolition. We believe that animals should not be used <coughs> for anything that causes undue suffering or harm, and I, I don't know of any farming methods that ultimately kind of allow for that, but it's not going to happen in my lifetime or your no. lifetime, unfortunately. It's something we're working towards in the future. So for now, for the rest of my life, your life, it will be all about the phasing out of practices. That cause something yeah. to happen. Just very quickly as well, I think, I think for meat eaters or on the I think Burn is very much, if there's no farmers and there's no milk, what they did for, for kind of employment. <coughs> so it's about kind of, if you're not going to do that, then you can do. Well, everything that we talk about is about phasing out, really. Yeah. We don't talk about direct bans or anything, because right. we're aware of the impact that that has on jobs, etc. But that's um, what we do appreciate that there have been many movements throughout history where humans have decided not to carry on practice anymore. Mm -hmm that we have managed, sometimes more successfully than others, to kind of find a new environment for those groups of people. It didn't happen with the miners particularly, but um, we are able to do that with some other groups of people. But when we're talking about a gradual phasing out of practice, I think there's long enough for people to do it to other industries and yes. find work. We're now talking mainly about medical testing. Yeah. Well, this is a lot of testing on animals for cosmetic purposes that have been reduced. We're going to focus about testing on testing. Yeah, uh, do you think, um, I mean, I support the idea that it's probably all right for you, maybe. Uh, Thank you. Probably. <laughs> um, but do you think, um, purely from a voter's perspective, do you think just concentrate on the animal aspect? And not having really any other policies will put people off because oh, I think right. We've not, we have a current manifesto, 52 pages long. We have policies across the board on education, housing, transport, environment, etc. I mean, for us, our environmental policies are as strong as, as our animal welfare policies because the two, the, the two go hand in hand. If you're going to ask people to stop eating so many animal products, you're going to promote plant based diets, that can only be beneficial. So yeah, we're, uh, environmental and natural welfare policies are our key areas, but of course we have socially aggressive policies on all other areas. Do you think um, uh, that, you know, obviously the Green Party is kind of competition, they have appear to have more <coughs> other policies, um, do you think that, you know, that that's the idea I was trying to get across? Any more than we see Labour or you right. Lib Dems and Conservatives competition. They're just other parties that also happen to exist who would like people to vote for them. But we think we're targeting ourselves at a particularly unique group of people. As people who also like me believe that species must end and who didn't vote last time, who didn't vote in the last few year elections. And there are tons or hundreds of thousands of people like that. And we're targeting those people. And we already have a brilliant response from people that find out about our party. You say, I've never voted before, I've never been interested in politics, but I do care about this, and I'm going to get involved. Your own policies, where do they lean, lean to, left, right? We, we, social, we call ourselves socially progressive. So if I had to describe them in a way, I would say they, they are left leaning, yes, socially progressive. Oh, of we have a full 52 page manifesto. Anyone can download it from our website. Or if you'd like to talk more about the policy, you can come to our school and make all the chat about what they are. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think you said very well, but I thought you said I'm sorry I'm not a vegan. Is that, is that what you said? I'm not, no. Yeah, so, that's, we don't say that. I mean, I couldn't. Um, on a, on a we don't say that. You don't have to be vegan to join our party. You can be a meat eater to join our party. You can simply believe that animals deserve a better deal. We're all at different points along the spectrum of what we think should happen with animals. But I think we're 
united by these one kernel of an idea, which is the angle to serve better treatment. Whether that means you go vegan, vegetarian, or vegetarian, <coughs> that is up to you. So you don't have to be vegan and vegetarian to join our party, but our party is led by vegans. And we think that's key. Because if for us saying we put our money where our mouth is, we're saying that it's possible for human beings to live a life without causing suffering to animals. To me, it's very important that that be the lifestyle idea that the other key members of our committee of national officers also follow the swan suit. So that people don't say, oh, well, what you're saying is not possible, we can't even do it yourself. But we can do it ourselves, we have been doing it ourselves for a long time. But what other people do in their own lives is completely not to be up to them in that respect. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Thank you.